whatsoever they want to submit to the leadership of the House. Nobody goes beyond here if it is not officially invited. That is the stand. So I want you people to understand so that you will help us to help you. If you take the position where it is a mark for protest, we will give you the necessary support you need. We will take you in. You will submit whatever paper you have, and I'm sure it will be attended to. That's the standard you, uh, practice here. Thank you. It's okay. No, no, uh, uh, officer, you, you have spoken. You have spoken to the extent of uh, in context with uh, your office. But there's also a legality that is greater than your office. It's called the Federal Constitution of Nigeria. It is the highest. Before we came here as law-abiding citizens, the police is fully involved and all the, uh, uh, the, the relevant, security relevant security agencies fully involved. In a country where in the 20, in just a few days ago, people were burnt in Kano, people were shot in River State, people were cut down, Nigerians like you were cut down in Lagos. As it stands right now, the law that permits the 2022 electoral law that states the procedure for election that was signed into law by President Muhammad Buhari is in the dustbin. At the moment, yes. Everything that holds our constitution has been put in the dustbin. And the National Assembly, who enacted that law that President Muhammad Buhari signed into law, are mute quiet. It means complicit. Yes. You cannot be telling Nigerians our loyalty is not to him. Exactly. As it stands right now, our your loyalty is not to any leadership or anybody. Our loyalty is to the state. It is it's the constitution of Nigeria. Exactly. And like you rightly stated, he is our servant. He should be grateful that we came here today. You should be aware of that. We have no, there is no legal standing in a country as we speak right now, there are people in the bush kidnapped yes. by ragtag army, people who are not even trained. People are crying and weeping. We, we have undergone the most fraudulent election in the history of in global election. And you are here looking at people who are dead and you are telling them, officer, that a man who enacted a law that he could not even stand by, that we voted for and put in place, that we need a special permission in position to see him while we are here. People, it is impossible. It is impossible. I say it is impossible. It is impossible. The world is watching now. Yes. We will give him 15 minutes. Just 15 minutes. 15 minutes because he's listening to us. The chairman of the National Assembly, who has failed in every ramification. Yes. We want him to report here now. Exactly. In the next 15 minutes. Because we are law abiding. This is our plea. This is our prayer. This is our call. And to give the message so that we have. Me. We already gave a message yesterday for the sack and prosecution of Professor Mahmoud Yakubu at the INEC office. Yes. We are coming here to remind those who made the law, oh, yeah. who have gone mute, but because we are custodians of the law, yes. 15 minutes, otherwise the world will hear us. Yeah. Yeah. Nigerian people! Right. Nigerian people! This is very important. This is where we are. So are we do. Hold on, hold on. That guy should stop that. Can you, is it okay like this? Yeah. Nursing the bruises of hope. This is why we're here. Today we mourn the demise of credibility, the rape of trust, and the abuse of will. Today we stand in the ruins of transparency, mm. on the emblemic table of inclusion, equity, and accountability. Today, we are voices 
toneless, stripped of the music of choice. Today, we are Nigerians broken, calling on INEC, the National Assembly, and the presidency to count our votes. On the 25th of February 2023, Nigerians troop to their polling units with one mission, to cast their votes and choose their next leaders. They qualified for this exercise by participating in the year-long continuous voter registration, which witnessed an unprecedented spike as never seen before since 1999. Months later, they returned to collect their permanent voters card and went home with a commitment to participate and engage with the process.